Hello everyone, welcome to another Sunday School episode. Today I have Jolina again. Hi, say hi. Hi. How is your day today? Good. It's good? Did you do anything different? Uh, no. Nothing different? You no. told me you played, you like freeze tag, right? Yeah. yeah. So think about what you guys like to play as well and let me know, okay? Today I'm going to tell you a very special story. I'm going to tell you about the paralytic man. Do you know anything about him? Uh, no. Okay, well, let's find out with everyone. So, back in the day, Jesus was in Jerusalem to celebrate the feast. And he went to a pool called, what do you think it's called? Um, you don't know? know? Okay, it was called Bethsaida. In this place, different people would gather around that pool. What do you think was so special about that pool? Just a pool filled with water, right? Yeah, but every single time when an angel comes, they had to push them in the water so they can get healed. Th that's exactly right. So a lot of people around that pool would gather that are sick, blind, they're paralyzed. What do you? What does paralyzed mean? Uh, they can't move their hands. Um, can't move can't, their legs. They can't move like anything. Like you don't have any like control bones. over your body, right? You have your bones, but like you can't move at all right? Okay, so a paralyzed man can't move, right? So he can't just simply walk and jump into the pool, right? Yeah. Unless like someone pushes him. Pushes him, exactly. So that pool gathered many people that are blind and sick and they were, their skin maybe is affected mm -hmm. by diseases. Yeah, so many people gathered around that pool. That there was a man and he was there, he was sick for how many years? Eight days. 38 years. Can you imagine? That's a really long time. 38 years, he's, he's paralyzed, he can't move, he can't do anything. And he was near that pool and no one can push him in because every time the angel comes, he would stir up the water and the first person that gets in, gets what? Healed. Healed, Healed. awesome. So Jesus came and he saw the, paraly the paralytic man and was like, hmm, do you want to get healed? And the sick man was saying, I don't have anyone to push me in the pool, right? It's just reasonable, like I don't have anyone that, that can help me because we said what? He can't uh, move. move. So Jesus told him what? Um, Pick up your bed and walk. walk. What like did he, he say? Could, uh, Pick up your bed and walk. Exactly, but what did you, what happened to the guy? He couldn't walk. But Jesus healed him, so he was able to do it. So he got up and picked up his stuff and walked away. Right? Mm. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Immediately after he was healed, he picked up his stuff and walked away, but other people saw him and they told him, how did you get healed? You weren't supposed, like, who healed you? So. Jesus healed him, right? Yeah. And then they were like, it's Sabbath day. We shouldn't be healed that day. Like no one, no miracles should happen on that day. But what do you think that affected everyone? Why do you think that happened? Um, uh, I don't know. It's okay. So that happened because the devil is always trying to get us to what? Not, not have something good to happen in our life, right? He wants us to always be sad and always to be, what, sick and having troubles, right? But Jesus is the one who, what, heals, Heal. keeps us safe, and makes us happy, right? So, the same thing with our lives every day. The devil is going to try to make us sad, make you maybe have a fight with your friend. Or be mean. Or be mean to your uh, siblings or your friends, friends or anyone, right? But what, we, what do we have to always remember? That Jesus, Jesus loves us, us, and we have to act like who? Christian. Christians, and what do Christians do? They they help, they're, they, nice. they're nice and they be, help, be nice and help people. Exactly, awesome. So what is our verse today? Uh, I am. I am. The Lord. The Lord. Who heals you. Who heals you. I am. I am. The Lord. The Lord. Who heals you. Exodus 15. Exodus 15. 26. 26. Let's say it one more time. 
I am. I am the Lord. The Lord who heals you. Who heals you. Exodus 16, 15. Exodus 15. 26. 26. All right. Do you want to tell them what you learned? Uh, no. You don't want to? So we can say that our, what? We have to always act like Jesus, and we have to be careful from the devil so that he wouldn't, what, trick us, and so that we wouldn't be sad all of our day, right? And be happy like Jesus. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.